Hi guys, no, I am not Smita. I am Sangeeta. If you are new here, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for new notification. Today's video is a pastaoge look, and I will recreate the exact Smita's look, and I will share her screen to show you what she did. So let's begin. A lip balm from Wet n Wild to keep my lips nourished and ready for the lipstick that's coming at the very end. Next, I'm going to be using the serum stick by Tatcha. Absolutely love this. It's not just a serum. It gives that sticker from the Coastal Scents Conceal Palette. I'm going to be doing a little bit of patchwork here and there to fix some of that uneven skin tone, like under my eyes and around my mouth. I'm going to quickly set this with some powder so it doesn't mix with the foundation. And the one that I'll be using is from Too Faced. So I am taking a lip balm from Wet n Wild in the Rebel Rose collection. Then I am taking Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Multi Purpose Serum as my moisturizer and primer. Then I am taking Bharat and Doris concealer in the shade twelve to correct my pigmentations and uh, say set it with my damp beauty blender. Then set my concealer with my Lakme Translucent Powder. Then let's see the next part. I'll have to do a little bit of dimension adding to my face, but I'm going to be doing it underneath the foundation so it's subtle. So I'm going to be first using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple in the usual areas, like under my cheek jawline to contour my nose. The reason I'm using this foundation is because one, it gives that natural concealer in the shade 145. Again, I'm going to be blending it out with my sock. Set the entire face to mattify it using the Mac Press Powder. Best by Tatcha. This is going to hold your makeup in place. Okay, I am taking NY Bay Contour Stick to contour my face and then blend it with my fingers and brush. This stick gives you a very natural finish, so you can use this stick as your uh, daily basis uh, makeup purpose. For natural finish look, I am going to use MAC foundation in the shade NC35. Smita Ma'am's and my shade are <laughs> same. For concealer, I am using Wet n Wild in the shade Medium Towny. Uh, I am using it underneath my eyes, forehead, my nose, and my high points area where I need my uh, face uh, highlight. I blend my concealer with my Pro Art Concealer Brush. Now, ma'am used a socks uh, what I don't have, uh, so I use my uh, brush. Then set all the makeup with MAC Press Powder in the shade NC35 uh, and fix my all makeup with MAC Fixer. Okay, again watch ma'am's video. Very lightly brush my brow to keep it in place. And then using a brow pencil, this is precisely my brow from Benefit. In the shade 4.5, I'm going to only fill in a couple of sparse areas. Her brow to define the outer corner and crease just like how she has it. That I'm using a flat tapered brush by Colourpop because I want to focus the eyeshadow right at the crease and soften it up powder with a flat shader brush by Colourpop. You can also use a bone color eyeshadow. With some nude eye pencil in my waterline, I'm using this one from Colourpop. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Lash Freak from Urban Decay. I'm going to highlight my inner corner. Again, you can use a bone color eyeshadow. And here is the completed eye look. Okay, I don't have brow gel, so I am using Wet n Wild Clear Gel Mascara as my brow gel. Then came to my brows, I am using Wet n Wild Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. It gives your brows very natural finish, so I am using this brow pomade. For 
eye makeup i am using same brown shade as my crease shade and blend well to give a natural finish on my crease line then using a off white uh, eye shadow on my eyelid as ma'am said using the off white shade in, on my uh, eye inner corner also and i am going to use a nude uh, coal pencil uh, from wet and wild on my eye waterline curl my eyelashes and using some coat of mascara from maybelline then get to mam's video for hair tutorial spray and brush it down neatly and use a couple clips to hold my hair in place to get that nice arch in front brick red lip i'm going to combine two different red lipsticks you can just use one if you like but i like that exact same color first i'm using brickel from ofra and then over that i'm going to be using milan so use some zip ties in different sizes went around a headband tying it and then i use some gold acrylic paint to paint it and here's the completed look okay first i have to brush my hair very neatly and then side part my hair then using the hair spray as ma'am said uh, and doing the same arch in the front of my hair using some hair clip to uh, hold my arch uh, very neatly ma'am used gray lens on her eyes so i have uh, to wear a gray lens uh, this is from pack in the shade gray I am using Vela Voste Palm Red and Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce as my lip shade. For headpiece, I am using broomsticks in different size and stick them all in my old hair band with uh, some hot glue and paint it with some golden fabric color. So here is my final look. I think the look is came out very beautifully. I really like Smita Ma'am every video and uh, and her tricks. Let me know what you thought in my comment section. If you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe my channel, and follow me on my social media. All links are given in my description box. Subscribe Smita Deepak also. Love you all so much. Bye bye.